All right, uh, we're back at it with a comic book haul. Um, went to actually a yard sale and uh, flea market and local comic shop and, and picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, most of the books that you're going to see here are between 25 cents and a dollar. Um, I just want to get these put away, so I figured I'd just show you know, make this video and, you know, just show you guys what I picked up. Um, a lot of the stuff, uh, most of you guys have seen in other videos. It's just the same, a lot of the same books that guys have been picking up. If you see them on the cheap, you know, spec type books, um, Mighty Avengers number, uh, 15, was that 15 or 13? 13. Um, uh, these are, um, 25 cent books here. Um, Captain Adam, number one, um, his first DC Comics uh, appearance. Figured it was cool to grab both of those for a quarter. Captain America, 321, this badass Mike Zek cover. This was an interesting little find. Um, it's a DC sampler. Um, but in here is... Uh, a preview for uh, Batman and the Outlaws, number one. Um, and it actually is like a first appearance of Katana that predates um, Brave and the Bold 100. Um, so this is her first time you see her. One of the first times you see her is in there. Uh, this is a book that I was trying to find for a little while. I've seen a lot of other folks show this. Uh, Alpha Flight, number 51. Uh, first Jim Lee work at Marvel. Uh, uh, reprint of Giant Size X-Men number one. I think it came with like a DVD or something like that. Uh, some dollar finds. Uh, Dark Knight 2. Batman Day. Uh Pretty cool issue of Marvel Team Up. Anytime I could find Bronze Age stuff for a dollar or less, uh, Marvel Bronze Age specifically, I'm going to pick it up all the time. Even if it's kind of off grade, like this issue of Marvel Premiere 18 and Tomb of Dracula number 20, I'll never leave a Tomb of Dracula around for a dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I found some copies of Secret War, uh, number one. I actually didn't have that, so now I completed that mini-series. But I also found book two, which is the first appearance of Quake. And then uh, some Sam Keith uh, Venom issues, issue number three. That's a really cool cover. And uh, issue number two. I'd love to find issue one out there. More 25 cent goodness. Uh, Flaming Carrot number 25 and 26. One of these is a McFarlane cover, I believe. Um, but it's, you know, a Ninja Turtles crossover. You always find those on the cheap. I'm sure other guys have as well. Have at, as well. Uh, big Frank Frazetta fan. Found this uh, Vampirella um, 25th anniversary special for a dollar. Found a Bronze Age Road Runner for a dollar. Superman number 205. I love purple covers. Um, I, obviously, and I love Michael Turner as well. I have this, um, but I'm you know anytime I can find a really cool Michael Turner cover. Uh, I'm going to pick that up every time. Just take these down, make some room for some more. You know, some more filler stuff. Uh, bronze. Super villain team up. Sensational She Hulk issue number 33. Found some uh, issues of V for Vendetta. We got number uh, seven and number four. I got to rebag a lot of this stuff. 
number three, and number, wait, this is number four. I gotta learn my Roman numerals. Actually, I have two copies of number four. <laughs> so that's uh, two copies of four, a copy of number three, number ten, And number nine and number eight. So anytime you can pick stuff like that up for a dollar, I'm definitely going to do it. Found three parts of the Shazam four-part mini-series from the Bronze Age. Or maybe this is Copper Age. We got part uh, two three and four not the the greatest cover there third printing of Batman son of the demon for a dollar uh, tomb of darkness 11 fantastic four number 479 or number 50 and there's some minor significance to this. Uh, I mean, every time you turn around, something's a new key. But this is uh, Su Susan Richards when she's pregnant uh, with uh, her daughter, Valeria Richards. I think they name her in the book. This was pretty cool. Uh, Wizard Ace edition number one uh, for Wanted. Signed by J.G. Jones. Got that for a quarter. Iron Man... 281 first appearance of uh, of uh, War Machine uh, on the back a uh, War Machine cameo this is a book that I always see a lot of people ask a lot of money for but I never see anybody actually buy it uh, for what people are asking for it uh, thing number one found that for a buck most stores that I see it in, people are trying to get like $20 or more for that book. Um, Wolverine Battles the Hulk. It's like a prestige format. Got that for a dollar. Um, if you're a CW fan, here's a couple of books that uh, would be in your wheelhouse. Um, the Ray, number one, first appearance of The Ray. He's in um, Legends of Tomorrow. Wild Dog, first appearance of Wild Dog, if you're an Arrow fan. Um, I keep buying this when I see it, and I keep forgetting what the first appearance of what character, what the minor significance to that is. Um, if, but if I can't remember what it is, got to just stop picking it up. I, I found it for a quarter. Found two copies of Harbinger, number 10, first appearance of uh, Hardcore. Um, this is a pretty cool minor key. Found this in the 25 cent bin. Um, it's actually the first appearance of the Excalibur as a team. Um, it's in like a mini graphic novel by Chris Claremont and Donald Neary. Some more 25 cent stuff. Uh, Conan number 232. Some Frazetta covers. Conan number two. This is a book that I've been looking for for a while um, just because I love the cover. Uh, I don't think I've seen anybody else show this, but, you know, there's thousands of videos out there. I'm sure some someone has. Uh, but if you haven't seen this before, it's definitely a badass uh, Brian Boland cover for Camelot 3000, issue number 5. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 36. Everybody knows the first appearance of uh, of Tombstone. Master of Kung Fu, number 125, last issue. I picked up uh, some run fillers for my Micronauts run. I'm not going to waste people's time showing the individual Micronaut books, but uh, 
some Micronauts for a quarter. Uh, anytime I find Atlas comics, um, I'll pick them up. I found a couple of them in the quarter bin. This is a pretty cool. Um, I think it's a Silver Age book. Um, but, uh, you know, I always wondered why when I find these that they're in such high grade. But apparently there was a big warehouse find of these books. Um, Heroes Incorporated presents Canon. Uh, it's Wally Wood cover. Alpha Flight number one for a dollar. Found a nice uh, Bronze Age issues of Avenger issue of Avengers number one thirty two. Hulk two thirty four. There's a uh, a Quasar significance to this. Um, I think it's the first time that uh, he refer he's referred to as Quasar. Uh, I think he was uh, Marvel Boy or Cosmic Boy or something like that in the past uh, issues. X Factor 17. For, there's a first appearance in there as well. Uh, some Dave Stevens uh, stuff. Uh, Rocketeer. Grendel number one. Pick the, these are up for a quarter as well. Um, Star Slayer number one. Uh, cameo of the Rocketeer. Rom. 31 uh, second appearance of Rogue. It's a weird appearance, a weird place for her to pop up. Found a sketch cover for a dollar. Um, not going to leave a sketch cover for a buck. Most of the times they're five dollars, so you know, save four bucks on that. If I ever get to a con again, I'll get hopefully get a sketch on it. Um, just uh, some more dollar type books um, nothing spectacular I'll just show a couple of them Dark Knight 2 again another copy of the test tube for X-23 um, first appearance of Sonic the Hedgehog in comics yeah this was a, a hot book for like 30 seconds for appearance of slapstick pick that up for the nostalgia of it gargoyles number one uh, marvel age because i'm a muppets fan uh dave stevens uh cover on grendel so you know that's that's basically it for the for the bargain bin grabs um, actually there's a couple more, but, uh, they're actually a little bit more significant than the stuff I, I had shown. Like, I found these in the quarter bin the other day. Um, Manifest Destiny number three, number two, and number one first print for 25 cents. Um, it's got a, like a non-color breaking spine tick or two but uh, I ain't leaving that behind for 25 cents. Uh, Tu Mua was the first person I have seen that showed these books off. Uh, I finally found a copy of Teen Titans uh, number one from Walmart. There's a first appearance in there. I guess it's this uh, sideways character. Grabbed some current stuff today from the local shop uh, another issue of Red Sonia Elvira number one uh, amazing uh, Linsner cover some art germ goodness um, the life of Captain Marvel number one and uh, two copies of Wonder Woman 51. God, I love this cover. I wish that this uh, was not on there. And uh, it was a virgin cover like this one. This was still a good cover as well. Uh, two very amazing uh, covers for for Wonder Woman um, this, this past week. Uh, some more dollar finds from the yard sale I went to. Um, 
Infinity, uh, New Avengers number eight, uh, first appearance in there as well. And again, of course, I, I don't remember who it is, but that's like a $20 book. I found, uh, oh, as far as more new books go, I grabbed uh, two copies of Old Man Logan, number 43, for cover price. This I paid uh, $6 for, Judge Dredd, number 1. And then at the same time that I bought that, I was able to, I was, I went to the, sh uh, to Zap Comics looking for more copies of those Thor God of Thunder books. I uh, struck out on that, but I did find the, where did it go, Punisher Barracuda series, so we got uh, $5 for part one, and then all the rest of them were $2. So I thought that was a no-brainer. Part 2. Part 3. Part 4. I was going to flip these, uh, but my friend Evan said, uh, you know, wait closer to when the Punisher series comes out again on Netflix. Uh, that's probably when they'll have some more value. Part 5 and Part 6. This was perhaps the best find that I had uh, from the dollar yard sale that I went to. Uh, Miss Marvel number one. Easily a $50 book. Um, it's my second copy of this. Um, definitely available for sale if anybody's looking for one. Um, just hit me up. It's, it's in super high grade. Uh, $50 bill all day. Um, so if anybody's interested in that, just uh, let me know. And then just a couple of more things uh, left. Um, some magazines. Actually, speaking of magazines, um, I always do this. I always forget to show something. Let me uh, grab those real quick. Hold on one second. Try not to make too much microphone noise as I do so. All right, so that yard sale that I went to, um, as I was checking out, he had a box of comics in his garage that he didn't pull out, um, and I also saw a box of magazines, and I said, well, how much do you want for the magazines? And he said, uh, you know, make an offer, and uh, I said, five dollars, and of course he, he said no, um, but he said, how about 15, and I'm like, sure, uh, and in there was a bunch of Conan magazines. Just some run filler stuff with some really nice covers. You know, for less than a dollar a piece, I'm, I'm all over these. Sorry for the glare. Everybody seems to apologize for their glare in their videos. It just happens. So we got that. Conan, just a bunch of Savage Swords of Conan, you know, there's about, you know, 27 or 28 different uh, issues, the only one that was really cool, I thought, was uh, Conan Saga number one, I did not know that it reprints Conan number one, I've never read Conan number one, so I was kind of happy to to get that. So yeah, I got about uh, 30 Conan magazines for 15 bucks as I was checking out. I love me my Marvel magazines. And uh, speaking of magazines, I got two more. Um, I got this at the flea market for two bucks. Um, volume three, number one, um, 
is how this one is numbered um, for May of 1979 heavy metal it's got a uh, aliens uh, preview uh, so this is like part one of the preview doesn't actually show the xenomorphs but it's got uh, Ridley Ripley in there and um, so this is you know the first appearance of aliens I guess in comics um, and then one more magazine another Frazetta gorgeous Frazetta cover picked this up for 10 bucks just this past weekend it's got some scuffing here from on this all black cover but other than that I thought it was a pretty amazing book and then a couple of Golden Age books that I, I had rescued from the flea market uh, Joe Palooka um, it actually looks better than it is uh, on the video it looks better but it, this was only two dollars uh, Joe Palooka number 52 I wasn't gonna leave that there for two bucks uh, Walt Disney comics I think this is from like 1947 pick this up for three dollars and then um, this last book uh, I'm a huge Popeye fan I was looking through a box of books I found this he actually had forty dollars on it and then uh, I asked him you know what's the best he could do on it and he went all the way down to 20 and uh, anybody who knows me knows that uh, that's right in my wheelhouse half off of something I'm, I'm all over it so that's it guys that's another haul uh, in the books um, not sure how many more hauls like this I'm gonna do because I'm kinda getting a little burnt out actually um, I'm running out of room for stuff and you know I'm picking up books I enjoy looking through you know bargain bins and stuff and picking up books but I'm picking up books that kinda don't fit my that do not fit my collection um, so I'm kinda gonna you know pump the brakes on that sort of stuff I do have some really badass books coming in that I'm looking forward to getting um, some slabs, some Silver Age, and some Golden Age. Some really nice books for a change um, that I hope you guys will, will tune in for to watch. Um, but then after that, I may be done with videos for a while till after Baltimore Comic Con. Um, and then maybe after that, uh, you know, some Christmas sales. Um, because it's getting uh, really, really hard to pick up books, you know, affordable books. Um, there's so many YouTubers who are able to do it and uh, and do it well. Um, they're able to score some really nice books uh, for affordable prices, and and just they keep they keep hunting and they find they find the deals. Um, just I don't have that sort of luck anymore. Uh, I I got lucky at first when I first started doing videos, um, but it's just getting tougher with all the movies and everybody thinks every comic out there. Yeah, is worth like a million dollars. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, but I'm thankful for what I've got. Uh, I do have some decent books in my collection, yeah, but I, I, may, I may take a break for a little while. Um, I got a, one more video that I'll shoot uh, as soon as those books come in, and then uh, we'll see see what happens from there. I definitely plan on attending Baltimore Comic Con. Uh, I'll probably be there on Saturday uh, when that goes down. Um, so if any of you guys are going to be there, we can, uh, meet up, um, and, uh, thanks for, again, for watching everybody. I'm over, what, 1,500 subscribers now. I never thought I'd get past 100. Um, and, uh, until next time, we'll, we'll see you soon and take care. Bye.